Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Simply Tanika Dion. I am your host, Dion. All right, now today I am going to be doing another makeup look or eye look. Um, and today I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Nubian 3 uh, Coral. Looks like this. One of my palettes that I bought last year that I didn't use. I don't know when I got it, but you know. 2021 I'm using them okay so this is the or these are the beautiful colors right here very nice my style very much so alrighty now um, guys today I'm actually going to be doing a look using only one eye shadow this is what I do a lot of the times if I do um, want to run out sometimes um, like I told you I don't wear makeup that often when I go outside um, now when I go out with my husband and with my mom I do like to do more you know um, to look cute and everything and have people stare and say oh she looks nice you know be looking out looking at me at the side eye and stuff like that because you know some people up in here girl they don't be giving your compliments they just look at your side eye but y'all know how that is but anywho so you know I like to give them something to talk about so I do a little bit more when I go out with, with my husband and with my mom sometimes but anyway but when I do decide I want to you know wake up sometimes and just put on some makeup just to be around the house and then I run out or whatever I generally do that I don't use this palette but I generally do like a one eyeshadow and go so since I have been getting requests to do like a lot more um, beginner friendly type things, I've decided I would go ahead and just show you what I do when I just do one eyeshadow. And I decided to use this palette since I've never used it before. Okay. So if you'd like to see what I do to achieve that, then, oh, you know what? Actually, I mean, it is one color that I'm going to use, but I do use another color because what I do is this color, I'm going to just tell you right here, I'm going to use this color, I believe. If I change it during the next piece of the uh, part of the video, then I'll tell you. But as far as I know, I'm going to go ahead and use this color right here. Um, and this will be the only color that I'm going to use until I go to this color right here. This like dark, this is like a corally color if it would come on. And yeah, this like corally color right here. Um, I'm going to use all over there. This is going to be the one shadow I'm going to use. But then I'm actually going to take this deep brown right here as like a liner. Just, you know, a liner instead of using a regular liner because some people don't like to use liner. So I'm going to just use the eyeshadow as a liner. But I still call this one shadow because it really is just going to be one shadow. And using that just to make a liner. I don't really include that as one of the colors. But, you know. So, okay. Um, if you like to see the look that I am going to do using this color, then please continue to watch. So first, you want to take a nice fluffy brush and dip into the color of choice, whereas mine is this nice coral color here. And you want to just dip into it very, very lightly, very lightly, and just um, go back and forth to blend it out. I mean, it really needs to be blended out because you want it to be faded. You, even though it's a one eyeshadow look, you want it to look like it's um, more than one color. You want the most color on the outer part of it, but just keep blending back and forth until um, you get the fade out that you want. this time what uh, we need to do is take a flat eyeshadow brush and then you want to dip into the same color 
um, that coral color in my case. Um, and then this time you want to pack the color onto the brush. You want to really pack that color on because this is where you want the color to show up as you just, you, you really want to see the color and you want to do it all over the lid and bring it up into the crease. Just pack that color on until you get, um, the color that you want it to be. I am just taking that uh, same fluffy brush from before and now I am just um, trying to blend out the edges uh, from the lid color and the sort of transition color if you will and merging them together so that they can look seamless although you know you still want it to look like it's two colors it's still you want it to be blended together so you don't have any harsh lines all right, and now I am just taking some more of that color on the flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just packing on some more color because when I blend it away, it did take away some of the intensity that I need the look to have. So here I am dipping into that dark brown color and I'm using um, a Sigma pencil brush here and all I'm going to do with this color is I'm going to be um, stamping it on my lash line as to uh, just make it look a little bit darker because as you can see this coral color is pretty light and I need to have some darkness somewhere and because it's a coral color it's not too much you can do to try to make this um, you know like a really smoky or dark type look so I just take the dark brown there just to give a little dimension and just to darken up the uh, lash line it just it makes it really cute in my opinion so Is the finished look of me using one eyeshadow to do a complete eyeshadow look and yeah I think it looks really really cute normally I use more uh, browns uh, when I do it uh, neutral tones and things like that because like I said I just be running out or whatever and like to do it really quickly and as you saw to do this one eyeshadow look is really really fast um, I this was the first time I used something like bright even though this isn't super bright it's, you know this corally color is beautiful but because i want to use the palette like i told you i have to use these palettes up so i said i'm just going to be picking them from over there um this whole year so yeah i decided to go ahead and go with this and i wanted to try it with this and i really like the way it came out super super easy your girl does not even have lashes on like i said i wanted this to be super beginner friendly and uh, of course a lot of beginners do not wear lashes i mean you know they do but a lot do not so yeah um and this is it it's just really really cute now as i told you uh in the beginning clip i just use this one color this corally color right here that is it and i use this dark brown right here um and i used this sigma pencil brush and then i just took that brown color and then just lightly stamped it as close to the lash line as possible um as to just to deepen up the um eyelash area because I knew I wasn't going to wear any falsies and I still wanted to look pretty cute and sort of 
sultry that's the word i call it so yeah and then as you can see just you know lightly smoked out um with that dark brown so yeah make it look really cute and yeah that's it one shadow very very beginner friendly now if you guys want me to do it again and do an actual talk through then please by all means tell me and i will do it again but of course it's going to be with a different palette because i have to use them up so i'll definitely do that again very very simple today it came out really cute i really like it and then on my lips i have another one of these um nyx shine loud that um like i told you before and when i first tried it 16 well up to 16 hour wear and transfer proof and um all that type stuff and now that i have been wearing them for a while because I, like i said i ordered four and i actually just ordered two more the other day which should be here soon because i really like them i like the formula and i just like i know how to do it now you just gotta let everything set first you definitely have to let the mat side set first let that thing set and dry down to mat yes and then after that then you put the gloss on and then you let that thing dry down oh look at that perfect so yes these things are so worth it now i paid 11.50 and then um uh, the first time i think i paid eight because they were on sale but the last two i just bought i think they were their regular price of 8.50 so i'm sorry 11.50 i believe that's how much they call the 11 something and then when i bought them the first time they were like eight something but anyway yeah and so yeah i got a little more shine than i usually do with glosses but i really like it i really really like these nyx shine louds okay and um i think that's probably all that it is but like one eyeshadow this and that is it yeah that's it and my face you know that doesn't really matter you guys want to see the one eyeshadow look so um yeah so that is everything that I have used today. Now, you guys, um, this is a headband wig that I have on. I did do this review of this unit um, already. I will link that above or in the cards or somewhere so that you can see it. Um, and that uh, review is on this channel, not my uh, separate channel. So I will go ahead and link it. But um, yeah, and that is probably all that I have for you today. So, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, like, and comment.